YouTube, welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. We're on our way to get our Matterhorn buff. We just got a new era here. So let's go ahead over there. We're going to go ahead and disperse this clan. Grab masonry. Didn't really need the masonry boost, but we'll take it. Uh, this I want to harvest. Where can we harvest? Four of seven, three of five. How many more settlers am I building? Oh, I, I harvested it for here. Gosh darn it. I wanted it to go to my cap. Oh, well. I forgot that I had switched that tile. It's okay. All right, so there's that. Oh, pardon me. I ate a cookie. <laughs> and it's betrayed me, apparently. We've got our Pantheon, so I don't need to keep God King in. Uh, we threw down production and are happy. Uh, I am killing a couple more barbs. I think I'm going to leave this in with barb clan mode on. My scouts are doing scout things, but they're, they're not going off, really. Like, we got we to gotta back up, right? Oh, and what do we take for our dedication here? Um... Exodus could be okay. Was it from the bathroom? <laughs> hmm. I think I do want some encampments. Like, I think I think we're going to finish horseback riding. Unlock Varu just in case um, Coupe attacks. And then we'll probably go at least one encampment. I don't know how many, though. How many scientific Eurekas are coming our way? We can mine something. Probably get an iron mine as well. Trade route. Water mill could be a thing. Three mines could be a thing. Exodus is tempting, but I think it's a little too slow for us. I think I'm just going to take free inquiry here. And get era score for Eurekas. Scientific Eurekas specifically. And then we're working you, you, and you. It seems fine. I may, may go mining first and then horseback riding and then this. Just so my builder has something to do on the way back. I'll, I'll go ahead and improve the truffle tile. But then we'll probably improve these uh, quarries as well. Alright. Barbarians have been quelled. Other holy site time or granary time? We're about to grow, so it actually it's granary time here. I could buy the granary, and we could devote. Man, I could have cleared that with Maui in the game. What are the strong Chandra abilities we're leaning into? Uh, never played them. We're leaning into his war ability, and then Dharma is is pretty fun if you're willing to micromanage your city's religion a little bit. Uh, but I, I gave a I gave a pretty good uh, I, I, well what I thought was a pretty decent uh, part zero video so that'll be on YouTube soon if you just want to watch that. We'll try to cut off this uh, scout and give it the old the old what have you the old what have you. I think I'm current on all my part zeros. I don't think I've I mean I missed I missed some. Our timing has been slightly off on them. Um, But I think they're all up there. Oh, nice. Thank you. I love Matterhorn. Oh, you're done. I forgot about you. <laughs> ah, this is what I was expecting. I was expecting the war from him. So I'm going to take your hard-earned cash. I'll use the trade mod. 58 gold is all he's willing to give me. Versus 90 if we're willing to take the gold per turn. But I'm pretty sure he, he attacks us here in just a second. So I think I need this 58 gold. And I, I think I need to finish off horseback riding before mining. 
because uh, I'm I'm a little scared. Do I buy an archer now? This, I might lose this city to three. Like I'm my my army can make it back pretty quick, so it might not be totally necessary. I don't know. On oh, Singapore is right there. Interesting. You gonna fight me? Not yet. Eagle Warriors. Look at those low rates. Map is small. It's a standard size map. <clears throat> there are eight sieves. So it's just what we've seen so far. Is that a Chicago specific joke? It sure is. It sure is. <laughs> I've got something for you. No hour of life look back over the path. And by you I mean my Chicago my, my fellow Chicagoans. Same story from Gandhi Game a few years back. I uh, was recently watching it. Your second city was recaptured by archers. Yeah. Yeah, we've had some spicy ones over the years. No doubt about that. Uh, let's go military tradition first. I'm more interested in the top half, half of the tech tree as opposed to like more envoys and theater squares. Uh, and this we're going to boost in four turns. So there's no point in hard teching it really. Uh, what does a governor do for us? Gives us some suzerains, which are probably going to get eaten up pretty quickly here. I was just doing an eagle man. Just an eagle man joke, Timorius. Because we found eagle warriors. Uh, hmm. What do? You're empty? Ha <laughs> Mine. Mine. Suzerain here could be pretty good. We could kill them too, although I would like their uh, extra gold from our, our commercial hubs, our eventual commercial hubs. But taking a Suze here could be pretty good for our war and just like pester him. Or as a deterrent, like if he does declare, then we have a bunch of uh, units at our that are helping us. Pingal is a good choice too, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab the era score while I can grab it. Let's do it. And I'm 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 a little bit afraid of him, so we'll do it this way. I'm gonna put this in. As opposed to discipline. We're, we are going to go clear more barb camps, but I think I'm a little afraid of the war. And if that happens, I'm going to want to make some uh, units pretty quickly. Who deserves more credit? Holy site, but not on, not on a river, of course. Why would it be? I'll take that. <laughs> that. That is no longer the case, Banner Man. The, bear, the bears haven't been good in a long time. And I don't think they have it in them. I don't think they have the ownership they need to be a good team ever. They, they, they have no idea how to keep up with the NFL. Like, the bears have been trying to, 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 to force a 30-year-old formula... For the last, like, 20 years. <laughs> Never fear, I'm a genius of war. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. There's the Byream. A Byream could really help us in this war, too. Okay. 
Okay, that looks good. Yeah, to that's it. That's exactly it, Dreesen. That's exactly it from my perspective. And they just don't know how to hire. They don't know how to evaluate. Like, it's just... Go Bears. I, I know. I want them to be good. I do. I want them to be good. They're my team. I've, I've seen a lot of ugly years. They're still my team. <laughs> Slater, thank you so much for the 22 months. Welcome on back. Ooh. Time to buy my sub a drink. It's actually, no, it, it, it is technically 21, right? Because your first one counts as one. So your kid, your kid at, our, our sub baby at 22 is actually able to drink. Thank you very, very much, Slater. Welcome on back. It's good to have you here. Thank you for the 22 months of support. That was an incredibly long time and much, much appreciated. So Germany and China are fighting. That is interesting. Because it means they should be somewhat weak by the time we want to go and uh, fight them. <laughs> Indeed, Murphy. Indeed. And I don't want to make friends really with, with either of them. I could make friends with China to tick off Germany. Which is an interesting thought. The next turn we get our holy site. So, three sieves potentially not going for religions. Unmet warrior monks cathedral. So, whoever founded this, we do not care. This is this is a terrible choice. We don't care. Did I decide on uh, wonders we're going for? Not necessarily. We'll just kind of slouch into him, as is my MO sometimes. <laughs> yeah, the division is usually hit or miss, huh? It's kind of the NFL, though. There's an ebb and flow. Like, what are the historically strong divisions? Like, the Patriots, for all of their success over the years, have had very weak competition within their division. Like, the NFC West has often been good. Okay, so Government Plaza now? I like granaries. Yeah. Granaries are great. Two housing? Like, housing cap city already, right? Like, if you're ever going to build districts, you need to build granaries. Good night, Folky. Thanks for hanging. Maybe it's time for a trader. I have a good amount of money, and that's for a reason. I'm, I'm holding this. This is future military power. I, I realize that, like, oftentimes you want to spend all of your money as you're getting it to, like, give you strength as the game goes on, like, incremental, like, cool, now we're ahead because we bought a monument or blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I'm saving this for war the war effort, I think. <laughs> Hero. NFC East is usually pretty good, but obviously it's not the case now at all. Like, I, I, I want to agree with you, but when is the last time the NFC was actually competitive? Like, Eagles and Cowboys sometimes, right? But, like, I don't I don't know that I can think of a, 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 a year within the last, like, 15 years that the, the NFC East has actually been good. Pingala time? Honestly? What if we go, what, can I throw you all for a loop and start with Victor? So that we get promotions on our elephants. My man. Extra strategics could be a thing. Captain Kellen, thank you for the follow. I'm not sure if this is the correct choice, but I'm gonna do it because I, I don't get a, I don't get the opportunity to do this all that often, and I think the extra promotion on our elephants will be quite good. The choice for first district depends on what exactly. Uh, it just depends on what you're trying to do with the game. Yeah, it choice choice of Civ, kind of victory, and and what 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 do you have available? Do you have a really good campus? Because go for that first, right? Um, do you want a religion? Then you need a holy site, etc. But I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start with uh, Victor. 
The Varu don't need strategics, but if we're going to war enough, we'll probably want some. I'm going to go for it. Probably not the strongest play we can make. Uh, but I, if, if we can come up with some unique play patterns, I'm, I'm, I'm game. I'm game. One more marathon wants me to feel things. Yeah, you just pick your best possible district generally. Like, did you get a wonder? Then go theater square first. All right, this looks okay. Bronze working next turn. Hopefully we can find iron. I'm guessing there's iron right here. At least that's sort of my hope. And then I guess I'll take the two gold per turn now. Not to say that the threat of war has passed. But I think I can respond to it with the amount of gold we have. There's our first time suzerain up here. We also find Hercules. Oh man, Hercules, Hercules. Yeah, look at this giant military he has here. Oh, it's because it's Great Barrier Reef. If if you have Great Barrier Reef, you can make up any logic you want with with uh, with with Coupe to settle it. You can you can just lie. <laughs> I'm giving Zoe a lot of uh, Zoe's somewhere. Zoe's ears are ringing. I love you, Zoe. If you're out there, you've done nothing wrong. But it's very fun to rag on your Coupe ness. Um, now what? Encampments unlocked. This unlocked. Probably swords. Did we f did we find iron? Okay. Indeed, we have iron. That's what I expected. I might buy a builder to get the iron going. I, I need to buy some tiles, too. You know what? Give me, give me tile buy for just a second. Unless we're about to expand. No, see, this is 11 turns. I want to buy this. I want to buy this. I don't think I need to buy this one because we're going to go victor. And he'll help us accumulate it, and I can just save this money. Look at this industrial zone spot. It's actually very true. It's actually a really good industrial zone. <laughs> it's actually a surprisingly good industrial zone. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to get it, but I'll pin it to, to appease the masses. history of Okay. So scientists going three profits gone. We just started ours. I should be able to get it. I should be able to slouch into it as as the second to last or the, as the last religion. Well, let's go ahead and put in land surveyors for a quick turn. I guess a quick eight turns. It's a little long to have them on there, but isn't the one next to the capital better with an aqueduct and a dam? I don't care. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I do not care. I'm not getting either of these industrial zones. I'm just pinning them for Carl. I won't be getting industrial zones. You can't go. You cannot. You really cannot go. Holy site, encampments, government plaza, and then expect to get an industrial zone in your cap. Like, absolutely not. You will. Like, that's a horrible idea. I do sometimes try to make you happy. Um, now what? I could go Government Plaza in the second city. I won't get the, the Victor, uh, well, no. Why don't I go Government Plaza in the second city? Is there any reason not to? Because I don't need to mass settler spam. We're going to kill things. And I don't necessarily need the second holy site right away. Because then I can, then I have the encampment slot here, which is probably honestly what this is. I 
And then I would like to get a settler over here too. So that we can go through. Hello, Ram. How you doing? Yeah, I think so. Feels a little weird. Because I could, I could indeed go for... Uh, where's my tile buying? Thank you. I'm a lunatic today. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and grab this. And let's go ahead and grab this. There goes all of our money, which is a little scary given this uh, this this army that Coupe has here. Oh dear, I think I, I think my scout's dead now. I spent my money and he's like, you don't have money anymore? I will kill you. Alright. Well, it's on. I'm really glad we have them as an ally. I'm incredibly happy with the uh, the choice of governor there. And this guy's just dead, sadly. See if I can bait this a little bit. Um, okay. I need money. I need cash now. So this is all of his money. I think I take it. I don't need the horse. And I'm pretty happy with a little bit of raw cash. Uh, I'm four gold away. Thirty-three gold, deal. And then I can buy an archer here, and that should be okay. Welcome to. That's a sad villa. That's exactly. I was honestly that was in my head. The JG Wentworth thing. Then we now we just need Mad Max Man Maxon. <laughs> Ma Matson? I don't know. I have a structured <laughs> trade deal and I need cash N O O O O O W. Thank you, Chimera. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this is a nice trade to toss over to him. Yes, it's a mod. It's a mod that we're using, Parker. I'm going to see if I can be friends with him for just a little bit. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I didn't even see this. <laughs> Get wrecked, Coupe, you nerd. You giant nerd. <laughs> Lose the settler. Go for it. Okay. He has like no military now. Oh my god, you lived? The scout who lived. It's exciting. Oh, shut up, Scotland. No one wants to hear from you. <laughs> oh, Coupe, you fool. You fool. All right, I think we have to go to Frankfurt. I kind of wish I would have fog busted this. I suppose we could just go through here. This gives us a nice road to our second city, and then right, maybe through this, right to the cap. 
Does the mod show you the best possible trade uh, for the resource? Yeah, pretty much. So you pop you pop down with something like this. This is telling me I have an extra luxury resource that we can sell. Unfortunately, nobody wants it. However, if we did have something somebody would want it, like maybe these four horses, it'll show me everybody who's willing to trade for it and what they're willing to pay me. So here at the top of the list is 18 gold from China. It's an awesome mod. It's super helpful. <laughs> Exactly, Chimera. Uh, do I need this shrine? America, China, and Germany not going after religion so far. I'd really like to get the encampment. And or our first hero. Yeah, it saves you a lot of time. Varu are available. How much are Varu to purchase? 480? Okay. Mm, grab a shrine. And then I think we go I think we go to the cap here. Should be easy enough to to bring some units along this way. This is an interesting path too, but then it's a little harder to like loop back and kill some of these other cities. I think I just go to the cap. It's an envoy for uh, Bandar, but... <laughs> White and nerdy. <laughs> nice. We got to share that with uh, Zoe. Oh, good. Oh, what a wonderful city you've you've placed here, Coupe. Well done. Well done. Just brilliant, my friend. You are, you are a top-tier AI. up a little bit more now you are going here which means i actually do need to defend against you to protect my trade route i think it moves here now right no it already moved Interesting. There's an archer here. I need to be a little wary of that. I may lose this. Well. Because this needs to come back. And this dies. So I need to protect my units and lose my trade route, which really sucks. I should have uh, I should have thought about that a little more carefully. We could have sent the other trade route just to protect it. It's a little silly to send it right into the war. I probably lose it now. I, I <laughs> the coup the coupiness of this map. His city up here and here and here like ugh. Ugh. Just ugh. Oh, nice! You crossed the river? <gasps> Saved my trade route. That was a prompt left hook, and I like it. Probably get pillaged here a little bit. Um... I'd love an archer in the cap. I can move here and shoot, though. Finish the government plaza. Can't afford an archer. Archer's 240. I could try to sell, but I don't think I have enough to that matters to sell. I could buy this for a second iron just to sell iron, and I think I'm going to. I'm running the tile by discount. I mentioned not really needing it with Victor there. Uh, but the fact that I can sell it for, for gold and, and help fund what we're trying to do here early, uh, I think is worth it. Alright, 
So let's start the turn by taking the combat strength from Oligarchy. We're going to be in this for a little while. We want the four combat strength and the extra experience. It does lock us into two military policies, which is not necessarily ideal. Uh, but pretty soon we'll start making some Varu. But that's probably not until after we're done with the encampment. So I'm not even sure. You bring light in. Thank you for the 31 months. My friend, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Welcome on back. I'm going to run Revelation here for profit points as well. I do want a religion. Hi, Pfeiffer. Hope you have an awesome day too, friend. Um, I don't have anything to put here. It's honestly the thing that's going to give us the most potential of doing something. <clears throat> we do want to go to military training. That's kind of our next target here. Now, he attacked us, so I don't get to do my cool uh, uh, war thing, but it's okay. So I think we go here. Take a hit there. And then shoot here. And then that guy's dead. And you can heal again. Is it time for Himiko? Hercules can give us our encampment instantly. That's probably better. Hercules is so good. The Insta District is just such a value. Unusual colors for Chandragupta? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. No text-to-speech lady? I don't, she must be on break. She must be on break. Oh, I don't see a message with it, you bring light in. What were you trying to say, friend? Maybe there was an issue there. Government spaceport time? Absolutely. Absolutely. Miko can give us these units. What units? They're all dying. <laughs> They're all dying to archers. Go here, improve that for them. Just wanted her number. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I get the settler, no. I don't I don't believe so. Himiko gives envoys. Right? So let's look at Himiko. Two combat strength for all units within two tiles. That's really what I want Himiko for. Um Cannot enter foreign lands when not at war. It ignores movement speed. Uh, but then she does Himiko's Charm. So target city-state uh, gets an immediate envoy. If you're already the suzerain, you get faith and it costs less. Uh, here is where we can levy, uh, do, 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 do. immediately levels the military at no, no cost. Charges one charge and ends the turn. But I don't think there's much of a military here for long. So. Everything has its limit. Probably take a turn to grab our <coughs> promo here. Take Volley for some extra combat strength here. All right. So we have Varu, we have our encampments, and we have swords unlocked. So our early military is taken care of. How do we sustain early military? Well, it's currency, right? But I'll take a, I'll take a couple turns and grab our step wells as well. My man. Is Himiko gone? Himiko must have just went. So that means I wouldn't have gotten her anyways. Yeah, Scotland got Himiko. That's very, very sad for us. I wanted this pretty badly, but even if we had started at that turn we were thinking about it, we wouldn't have gotten it because we have one turn left on Hercules up there. So it's very, very sad for our game, but we, we can deal. And I think Hercules was the right choice. We could have gotten Himiko much earlier, but I think that early of a Himiko doesn't do that much. So we got Herc on the way. Five of 11 housing. I really would like some builders. 
Uh, Yar Yarlo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So buy the tile, place this next turn we, we get it. Is this where I want it? What if I just put it... What if we put it here? It's cheaper to buy this tile and I can just flip it. And then I can go right there and then it's right on the warpath. The awkwardness... What I was thinking of doing here was, was building terracotta next to it and then going double theater square. I think I might like that just a little bit better. I think I like it. I'll pin it for you all. But that's what I was thinking. Because it's close enough to the road, right? <clears throat> it's close enough to the road and I can actually get up here pretty quickly. What camera am I losing? using? It looks great. Uh, it's, some, it's a Logitech something. It should be linked in my uh, like channel info area. What save do you recommend for wars? There are a lot. Chandragupta is a pretty fun one. That's who we're playing today. Um, I like Zulu a lot for war. I like Cyrus a lot for war. Alex for war. Genghis Khan is insane. Um, yeah, there are a lot of good wars. Rough Rider Teddy, who's in this game, is good for war. A bunch of civs that are quite adept at warring. Yeah, Ottomans, one of the best. I did get River Goddess. Yeah, that's what we went for. It sucks that I can't raise his cap and raise this holy site. Like, he was like, he was like, what if I build this next to the Galapagos? Does it work if it's one tile away? It does not, Kube. It does not. And then he's building another holy site here. I would probably raise this city. Oh, I put a turn of production into this, and I did not mean to. Because Herc is going to build it for us, so that's a bit of a waste. Unfortunately. Ha <laughs> Rio. Uh. I can smack this, but I don't know what's behind it. I'd rather just preserve my units. Yeah, we'll take Coupe's capital for sure. Who is this? Pachacuti. Pachacuti. Patch a cutie, more like it. <laughs> uh, joke never gets old. Do you like furs? Patch a cutie likes some furs. We'll sell them. Nobody else that's super interesting in the game. Not furs, truffles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, truffles. He likes truffles. He must like some uh, truffle fries. That's probably what it is. Thousands so he settled lit. this, so that's no longer an option. I still would like to get this city. I, I don't know exactly when and where I'm getting it, but... Yeah, archer behind it, which is I'm glad we didn't uh, just rush up there blindly. I'll keep you here with this unit. Oh, please don't. I'm going to try to protect my trade route with this archer. All right, we definitely want Warlord's Throne for this game. I think I'm going to just get started on it right away. We can still grab Ma uh, Maui. All right, I think we're going this route and then Embrasure. As it turns out... He's got a Kilimanjaro start? That's disgusting. Wait, that's Chicago. I don't remember learning that part at the Chicago History Museum. Did you guys know that Chicago was once a part of the Incan Empire? I had no idea. I figured that would have be been a part of that, uh, that tour. I wonder if the Incan bears are any good. <laughs> okay. 
kill this, but I'm, I'm afraid of the, uh, the unit. They just started teaching that at CPS. <laughs> uh, I'd like open borders. All right. Oh, I didn't do the thing. That's okay. We're just a couple of general points behind, and I didn't want to lose my trade route. That was the biggest part of that. But Herc can come back here and uh, finish that up for us. Let's make sure we can take out Coupe first. Man. All right. Everybody's fighting. How 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 valuable, by the way, in retrospect, only in retrospect. But how value was valuable was this suzerain? It denied him a city and like basically occupied him for the first ten-ish turns of this war. Yeah. We're like 10 turns in, and I didn't really have to do a whole lot, nor did I have to worry about a whole lot, because this city-state just basically ran interference for us, uh, which was pretty glorious. I think I take my Suzer in here now with the same idea, although they're about to die. It's such a waste of an envoy if they're about to die. I think I want this envoy to do better than two era score. Your tips on placing preserves for the best yields? I don't really have any. I haven't used preserves enough. I mean, I, I they seem straightforward to me. Like try to try to try to do double preserve shenanigans. Like preserve here, preserve here. I, obviously not not there specifically, uh, but like preserves next to each other, double up on yields and stuff. There's my encampment. China's working on a general, but nobody else is. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and put a cut in the video here. Uh, more war when we come back. But thank you so much. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.